ACE, Advanced Cordless Endomotor. Hi, I'm Carlos Spironelli Ramos. There's a lot of endophile systems in the market, but not a lot of endomotors, especially when you talk about a closed endomotor and an open endomotor. And what is an open endomotor? Open endomotors allows you to set up the angles of reciprocation forward and reverse. In a practical clinical way, this means that you can use your rotary files in reciprocation if you want, and of course there are some specially designed files to be used in reciprocation and in rotation, like the Genius and the Genius ProFlex files. Not only that, but with the technology available, you can have in the motors with an apex locator built in. The big advantage of having an apex locator built in is the fact that you can use the motor alone, you can use the apex locator alone, but you can use the motor with the apex locator at the same time. This means that when you are doing your instrumentation, the apex locator is giving you exactly the depth of your file and the relation of your file to the uh, apical foramen. With this feature, you can avoid over-instrumentation during your shaping process. In this video, I will show the features and how to set up the ACE, Advanced Cordless and the Motor. Let's start by showing how to set up the ACE. Align locating pins of the contraangle with the positioning slots on the handpiece and push the contraangle horizontally. A click will indicate the installation is in place. Let's insert the power cable on the power socket on the right lateral side of the base. Once the cable is connected to the base, the battery icon will show the battery status. This blinking light indicates that the battery is being charged. After the first charge, which is about 2 hours, you can use your device plug or unplug. To start the ACE and the motor, just touch and hold the power button for 3 seconds. The display will show the last working mode chosen. To turn on the handpiece, press the on-off button. Now place the handpiece at the base handpiece slot. If you prefer extra protection, use the contra-angle rubber sleeve. Your ACE is ready to start. When you turn on the base and handpiece, the screen shows the Bluetooth icon connection. Plus, you have the base battery level and the handpiece battery level icons at the top of the screen. To change the operation mode, press ENAP button. You have three options, motor only, apex locator only, and my preferred motor and apex locator combined mode. There are some options that you use set up only once. It will be saved and ready every time that you are going to use your ACE. First, let's take a look at the auto reverse options. Leave auto reverse on if you want the file to go reverse when you get to the torque threshold. Press auto reverse button if you want the file to stop. And again, if you don't want auto reverse. I recommend auto reverse on. In the auto reverse mode, if the load reaches or exceeds the preset torque value, the file goes counterclockwise, and the operator withdraw the file goes back to rotation. In the auto stop mode, if the load value reaches or exceeds the preset torque value, the file stops. And of course, you can disable the auto reverse. When the auto reverse is on, Every time that the load value reaches or exceeds the preset torque value, the file goes reverse until you release it. A torque bar indicator can be seen on the display. Now is the time to choose the file system that you want to use. Touch up or down the system buttons to pick up the system you want. The file system library has all Medidenta files, including Genius Pro Flex new files in rotary and reciprocation. Within the system select, you can choose the file number that you want to use. The sequence of use appears in ascending order in the list. 
you can program speed and torque for eight different setups in rotation and three in reciprocation. To add file specs to a program is simple. Press the file button up or down to choose the program number you want to set up. Press torque and speed buttons to add file specs. One of the exclusive features that ACE offers is the Genius AutoSense movement. This innovation changed automatically the kinematics from rotary to right cutting reciprocation based on the canal wall's resistance against the file ape call progress. That way, you'll no longer have to worry about switching from reciprocating to rotary or from rotary to reciprocating. To select Genius AutoSense, just press the system button until you find Genius AutoSense. There's no need of changing files in this mode. There are interesting features on the subsettings when you are on motor and apex locator mode. But remember that in this mode, you have your apex locator readings influencing the file progression. So it is highly recommended that you determine your working length first using a hand file. To determine the working length in the traditional apex locator method, insert the measuring wire plug into the base socket. Insert the file clip cable to the female gray socket and the lip hook to the female white socket. Now, place the lip hook onto the patient's lip. With the canal filled with irrigation fluid, place a K file of proper diameter inside the canal up to the temporary working length. Connect the file clip to the file. The file icon will appear. As the instrument progresses toward the foramen, color instruction bars and audio signals will indicate the file progress. Stop the file when reached 00, zero. adjust the rubber stop, unplug the file clip and gently withdraw the file. Determine the working length by using an endo ruler. To establish the working length, subtract 0.5 to 1 mm from the electronic foramen position. Let's go back to the subsettings on the motor and apex locator mode. Touch and hold set button. Note that only the subsettings commands will light up. Now it's time to decide how you want your apex locator readings to help your instrumentation. The first subsetting controls the file movement when reaches the working length. Touch speed to select apco reverse, apco stop. Press ENAP once if you want the file to stop when you get the alarm position. Press ENAP again if you want the file to reverse when getting to the alarm position. And press ENAP again if you want to deactivate the subsetting. The second subsetting is to start automatically when the file is inside the canal. Touch speed down to select the auto start icon. Press ENAP to select the option you want. Same thing to slow down. Press ENAP if you want that the rotation slows down when it's close to the foramen. Press ENAP button again if you want to cancel slow down. Let's review the subsettings. Ape call reverse on. The file will reverse when the file reaches the ape call point. Ape call stop. The file will stop when it reaches the ape call point. Ape call off. The file rotates as usual when it reaches the ape call point. Auto start on, the file will start rotating when it is inserted inside the canal. Slow down on, the file's rotation slows down as the file approaches the apical point. To set up the position of the apex locator alarm, touch angle up and down to determine the apical position alarm. After deciding the subsettings that you want, Press set button to exit to working mode. To use the motor with apex locator mode functions, you need to install the second cable. First, remove the file clip cable from the measuring cable, but leave the lip hook installed in the patient lip. Insert the USB measuring wire small male plug into the handpiece socket. 
Insert USB measuring cables large mail plug into the base USB socket. Now everything is ready to start your instrumentation. You can perform two simple tests to ensure that your Apex locator is providing accurate readings. Touch the file clip to the lip hook. The display will show the file out alongside the alarm. To perform the second test, you need to insert the tester on the same slot of the measurement wire. The display will show 1, 2, 3 or 4. All results means working properly. Thanks for joining me in this presentation. For more information, go to www.medidenta.com.